Man, I, I am curious. Uh, yeah. when, uh, how how uh, start? Né? How start your passion uh, with basketball, uh, Knicks? Uh, I, I am curious about this. Well, um, I wasn't when I first like growing up. Okay, um, the first sport I really enjoy. I, I became a Yankees fan, New York Yankees, mm -hmm. and I was like six years old and. You know, they had won World Series in 1977 and then 78. So I, I just took to that. And that was my first idea of a New York team and feeling like I'm supposed to root for where I'm from. You know, I'm from New York. This is my team. They won. So that was cool. And then I became, I got it. I don't know how much Brazil knows hockey, but I got into hockey. Mm -hmm. And Hello. ice hockey. And yeah, and so... My, my parents, because they were from New York City, were New York Rangers fans. They also play in Madison Square Garden with the Knicks. And they played a new team that was made that was called the New York Islanders, who were from Long Island, which is where I was growing up. It's like the suburbs of New York City. And they beat them. And I saw them. Again, I'm very young. I'm a little kid. And I saw when they lost how sad the Islanders players looked. They looked so sad. And it hit me. <laughs> uh -huh. And I was like, wait, like, but we were from Long Island. Shouldn't we be rooting for those guys? And my parents said, oh, no, no, no. We root for the Rangers. And I said, I'm going to root for that team from now on. And they won four championships. They were one of the all-time greatest teams ever, the Islanders. So that was fun. So now I'm like, okay, I got the Yankees. They're winning. I got the, you know, the Islanders in the NFL. I got a Jets jersey for Christmas one year, and I became a Jets fan. Now, two out of three ain't bad because the Jets weren't very good. <laughs> But then I, gr I was growing taller. I was, you know, growing up, and when I was um, – 14 years old, I was over six foot tall. And, you know, everybody said, you should play basketball. Okay. So I started to play basketball. And so when people said, well, what's your favorite basketball team? I was like, well, I mean, it's got to be the Knicks. I'm in New York, right? Like, I didn't even think twice. Just who's my team? I, I live here, the Knicks. And so I started to watch more basketball. And as I was doing it, it was Magic Johnson and Larry Bird. Like, it was, you know, that era so i watched that all the time on tv but when the knicks played i would watch them and so i saw bernard king and bernard king for those who aren't and never saw him play bernard king is like uh he's just he's he was just so strong like so like a like aggressive like he could just score on anybody I'm trying to think of somebody in the league today that I could say, think of that player, but I can't. There's no one like him because um, well. he was he was a big, small forward, strong. He never got tired. And I, I just, you know, I took to it. I, I saw him score 60 on Christmas Day. Uh, and, I'm, again, I'm a kid. I'm 13, whatever years uh -huh. old. And so I'm just like, all right, that's my team. So uh -huh. I got into them. And then, of course, Patrick Ewing was drafted, and he became my favorite player. Patrick Ewing became, like, like you were just talking about how, like, you saw him. I will ask it to you. <laughs> yeah, I, and you I answer just, me. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that. He just became my guy, and that was it. I was hooked. So that's how it happened. It, it was, I just felt like I'm from here. This is my team. I'm supposed to root for this team. And then, as I watched them, I just there were certain players: Bernard King, and then Patrick, and then other players who came along. They just became my guys. So it was a dream for me to later in life be able to cover them. And now to do what I do is a, I mean, it's, I, I can't even explain it. It's, it's not work <laughs> for me. It's yes. not work. I, I love doing it. <laughs> I imagine it, man. I yeah. imagine it. <laughs>